In this video, we'll go through the rounding rules for significant figures when performing calculations like addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. The rule for addition and subtraction is to round off following the lowest decimal place. Decimal place refers to the number of digits after the decimal point. Let's look at this example for addition. We have 987 plus 98.7. 987 has zero decimal point because there is no digit that comes after the decimal point. 98.7 has one decimal point because there is one digit after the decimal point. Since the rule is to round off following the lowest decimal place, our answer should be presented in zero decimal place. When we add up these two numbers, we get 1085.7. We need to round it off so that we get zero decimal place, so we look at the digit to the right of 5, which is 7. When rounding, if the number is 5 or greater, we need to round up. In our case, we have 7, that means we need to round up and that will give us 1086. We add 1 to 1085 and we remove everything that comes after the decimal point, so we get our answer in zero decimal place. Next, we look at the subtraction example. The same rule applies. 987 has zero decimal place and 98.70 has two decimal place because there are two digits that come after the decimal point. Following the rule, our answer will be presented in zero decimal place. We look at the digit after the decimal point, which is three, and since 3 is less than 5, we don't need to round up. So our final answer is going to be 888. For multiplication and division, the rule is to go with the lowest significant figure, or sig fig for short. So instead of looking at the lowest decimal place, like when we did the subtraction and addition, for multiplication and division, we look at the lowest significant figure. Let's look at the first example. 987 times 0 0.98. Since we need to round off to the lower sig fig, we need to figure out what's the sig fig for each of these number. 987 has 3 sig fig, 0 0.98 has 2 sig fig. If you need a refresher on figuring out sig figs, I'll link the intro video in the description box below. The rule for multiplication is to round off following the lower sig fig. In our case, between 2 sig fig and 3 sig fig, 2 is the lowest, so therefore, our answer is going to be presented in 2 sig fig. We multiply 987 with 0 0.98 and we get 967.26. The first sig fig is 9 and the second sig fig is 6. That means we need to look at the digit after the second significant figure and decide whether to round up or not. Since that digit is 7, it's 5 and above, so we need to round up. Rounding up is going to give us 970. We add 1 to 6, so therefore we get 970. Looking at the division example, we have 987 divided by 0 0.9. We follow the same rule, which is to round off to the lower sig fig. So the first number, 987, has 3 sig fig, and the second number only has 1 sig fig. So therefore, our answer is going to be in 1 sig fig. So when we take these two numbers and we divide, we get 1096.67. Rounding it off to one sig fig, that means we need to look at the second digit, which is zero. Zero is less than five, so that means we don't need to round up. So presenting the answer in the correct sig fig form is going to be 1000. So far, we've gone through examples involving only single operation, meaning it's just purely multiplication, division, subtraction, or addition. If you encounter a question that has mixed operations, just follow the order of operations, keep track of the decimal place or sig fig for each step and then round off at the very end. Don't round off for each step. Keep all the digits and only round off at the very end. Let's try out a few questions. Feel free to pause the video while solving it on your own first. We'll go through them together when you're ready. Okay, ready? Let's start with the first question. It's an addition question. For addition, the runoff rule is to follow the lowest decimal place. So that means we need to figure out the decimal place for each of the number. 123.4 has one decimal place. 0 0.789 has three decimal place because there are three digits after the decimal point. So that means our final answer will have one decimal place. When we add the two numbers together, we get 124.189. 124.189 
One decimal place means one digit after the decimal point, which means in our case, that's the one. So we look at the digit to its right, which is eight, and then we decide whether we need to round up or not. Since eight is five and above, we need to round up and that gives us 124.2 presented in one decimal place. The second question is a multiplication question. So for multiplication, we round off following the lowest sig fig. In this case, we need to figure out the sig fig for each number. 23.8 has 3 sig fig, 0 0.1 has 1 sig fig. That means our final answer is going to be in 1 sig fig. So we multiply these two numbers and we get 2.38. To round off to 1 sig fig, we look at the digit to the right of 2. Since it's a 3, which is less than 5, we don't need to round up. The final answer is 2 in 1 sig fig. The third question involves multiple operations. We have a parenthesis. Inside the parenthesis, we have a subtraction. Outside of the parenthesis, we have division and addition. In situations like this, we need to follow the order of operations. PEMDAS is a good guide to use. I'll link the video if you're interested. So we need to solve the operation that's inside the parentheses first. Since it's a subtraction, we're going to have to look at the decimal place. 61 has 0 decimal place, 0 0.5 has 1 decimal place. That means the result from this subtraction is going to have 0 decimal place. At this point, we don't want to round off anything yet. We just keep all the digits and continue on with the rest of the calculations. The results from the subtraction should be in zero decimal place, which means 60.5 should actually be 61. But at this point, we don't want to round anything off yet. But keeping that in mind, 61 has two sig fig, and then 32.8 has three sig fig. So if we were to divide these two number, we're going to follow the lower sig fig, which is going to be two. So after we divide these two number, our answer should be presented in two sig fig which means 1.8. The rest of the digit, we're not going to round off yet. We're just going to keep it and continue on with the rest of the calculation. The last operation we have to do is addition. So we have 1.8445 plus 19. Since it's addition, the round off rule is to follow the lowest decimal place. So 1.8 has one decimal place, 19 has zero decimal place. So which means our final answer needs to be reported in zero decimal place. So adding these two numbers up is going to give us 20.8445. So zero decimal place means we don't need anything that comes after the decimal point. So we look at it, it's 8. So since 8 is 5 and above, we need to round up. So that's going to give us 21 as our final answer in zero decimal place. That's the answer that we have for all the three questions. How did you do? Did you get them all right? To recap, when adding or subtracting, we round off following the lowest decimal place. When multiplying or dividing, we round off following the lowest significant figure. In the event that we have multiple operations, just follow the order of operation like PEMDAS. Keep tabs on the decimal place or the significant figure depending on the operation that you're doing and only round off at the very end. Don't round off at each step of the calculation. When trying to round off, we only need to round up if the digit is 5 or larger. Thanks for watching all the way till the end. Do subscribe, like, and share this video if you find it helpful. It'll help the channel grow, and I'll really appreciate it.